Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, here in this video tutorial, I intend to show you how to plot uh, pi of pi chart and formatting uh, that kind of uh, charts in Microsoft uh, Excel. Yes, pi of pie charts. That's what uh, the name entails. If you haven't uh, seen or known what a pie of pie chart is, well, you are about to see one. Now I have a set of uh, data here that we're going to be using for this tutorial. First, I want to do the simple pie charts that we used to know. Uh, the simple pie charts that we use to know to plot it, I just go here and I, I have it in uh, Excel showing before me there. Uh, you can see that I have other kinds of pie chart. Actually, this is the one we're going to discuss. This is a pie of um, of pie chart. So you can see the secondary part of the chart uh, showing here. This is uh, a bar of pi chart so a, a bar it's showing here off some of the elements of the uh, pi chart but th th let's look at this first well this is the traditional and known uh, common uh, pie chart look that we see all the time and um, let's just add the, the data labels to it I'm using Microsoft Excel version 2013. If you're using earlier versions, where you'll notice that the 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 ribbons are not uh, looking like we are seeing it here now, and so on like that. Uh, this feature that brings in the values on the chart, you could find it here in Add Chart Elements. Also, you just go down and you have all of them uh, here. Let's take that off. Uh, cent center here uh, to show the value so you can see each of these values here and they correspond to the, that which we find here in the table I want to format them to have wh white colors so that we could really see them um, here so for some uh, uh, persons who present data this looks really clumsy because you have a, a whole lot of things showing here and the 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 feeling is that it's not uh, it's not that ideal for a simple eye inspection of what is really happening here in the uh, pie chart. We have six six different things showing in a pie chart here. For some individuals, it would be recommended that you do this in um, in a bar, a bar chart. You do it in a bar chart. Uh, but uh, let's see what options the pie of pie chart gives us and possibly you might like to present your data in that in, in that way so um, we're going to let, I, I'm going to delete this assume that I'm starting just from scratch uh, insert tab and then chat we go to the chat group and we bring the pie of pie chart and that's it here let's make it a little bigger so that we have it so fine now let's add the the chat labels here at the center once again we format them to be white so that we could see them now if you look at this chart here there is something really happening we see uh, these uh, values the uh, colors are also here and we look here and we see them. Now I want you to notice 309 here. We have 309 here. We have 192 here. Uh, here again we have it. And we do not have those values here. We don't. But what has happened is that the sum of these two values making 501 has been used to reflect it in this uh, primary uh, pie chart that we have here. So how can we manipulate it? Assuming that we just we, we, we don't want just this two, we want more than two of these values to show in the secondary. What do we do? Now this is what we do. Now click on your chart, anywhere on your chart, right click on it, and then you're going to see this format data series here. Okay. 
So in format that's a series, uh, we're going to be using these tools and we're going to see what these tools could do to our, our pie of pie chart. First we look at this, it says split series by position. Now we have two here. And what is that telling you? We have two positions here. Each of these guys here is a position. And you can see the, f the last two positions here have been reflected here. What if we want 863 to also show here? Well, that we just increase this to 3. And so you can see 863 is here. The sum of these three uh, items have been put together to give us 1, 3, 6, 4. Yeah, and that's it. 1, 3, 6, 4. That's what's showing up here. So, so we have these uh, items showing here. So we have... Uh, we have a few values showing here and it's becoming more pleasant to our eyes to understand what is really going on with this uh, data but I could have another option I could say um, I, I actually want to show smaller values and put all the small values like put 108, 205 I want them to be in the secondary uh, pie chart, why the other big guys should be in the primary pie chart. And that's why we are given uh, these other options here, you see. Apart from split by position, we could also split by value. And you can see after clicking that, you can see this guy just goes blank. All our values are in here. They want us to decide what should be in here. So we're going to decide. Now let's say we want uh, uh, 197 to be there and 108 to be there 192 rather 192 um, okay that's fine so we just go here and we put the value 200 so you can notice what has happened I now have 192 is in there, 108 is also in there. They are the smallest guys there, so we get them in. So if you want 205 to be with them, all we need to do is rather than 200 here, we could just do 206 here. And so you can see 205 is now one of them. And then the sum of these three guys have been put together to have five. Zero 05 and so you can see that our primary pie chart is much much easier for us to understand what is going on there using the values which is more than which and so on like that you get it now we could also have another option we have the option of percentage that's uh, I'm, I'm taking you through this three because you could actually get almost all what you want using this three so wh what's the percentage telling us well for us to understand how the percentage works here I want to create uh, another column here for percentage and this uh, percentage and uh, I want to have a total here, sum, and we sum these guys, these are the total, and the totals, and uh, we take this guy here, and we put a formula, what's the percentage of this, this over this guy, we're going to make him an absolute reference of B10, because we want it to always be there irrespective of where we copy this formula to below so that the total of these guys is 1 and we could always change it to percentage um, so it gives us 100% so that's exactly what I want so you can see that we have 8% here, 4% here, 7% here and that is why you see at 10%, L, all the items that are below 10%, 7, 4, and 8, they are featured here. So we have the next one, 12%. So that simply means if I have uh, 
13 percent here I'm going to have four items here and just three other items uh, here so that's what uh, the split by series and, uh, and its corresponding value help us to do with a, sp uh, a, a pie of pie charts now we have the three other items here I just want to show you what they do uh, pie explosion uh, now if you move it see what happens the split into independent pies and so you could just choose what you want and uh, decide um, what kind of pie explosion that you want so you could you could format the pie explosion with that or you could just come here and put a value 20 percent 15 percent or whatsoever if you don't want to do it here so I could easily come in here and say I want it to be five percent and so I'm going to have a sp five percent split of these uh, pies uh, exploding into the uh, indi independent pies then we have the gap what the gap actually does is that it tells me how far these two pie charts should be from each other so you can see what's happening here it's left for you to decide how far they apart they are from each other and the second plot size that is this secondary uh, pi uh, we want to determine its size do we want this to be bigger than this or this to be bigger than this that's exactly what this does so you can see uh, clicking on it is now bigger than this whichever you feel like uh, whichever you feel like using in your pie chart uh, pie of pie chart you could always use this so they are very interesting features remember to get through th into this you just need to right click on them and click uh, just right click on it and then uh, format data series and then it's going to bring these tools out for you to use to work on your pie chart I hope you learned something from this video I look forward to showing you some other tutorials in future videos. Have a nice time.